Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am just so excited that I finished. I think this is my third flip-flop journal. This was using digitals from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Beautiful. This journal is just beautiful. Um, the majority of the journal is in yellows, but there's pops of pink in here, not much, but I put this wooden butterfly on the top, and so I know this ribbon might seem like it just pops out and maybe we should have had a neutral color or a rusty color or a yellow color but I put the pink on and fell in love with it so I wanted to keep it. I have to say flip-flop journals are so so fun to create but they are a lot of work. The cover of this is six and a half by four but as you can see, the pages come well over the top and they do come out the bottom. This is the back. Um, Tina created a beautiful, beautiful kit. I have a couple more of her kits, but I really, really wanted to work with this butterfly kit. I used um, glossy accents on this butterfly and like I said, hopefully you can see that. Um, it might be wood and not chipboard. <coughs> Excuse me, this butterfly here. Beautiful, beautiful. So if we take this off, it does have four signatures in it. So she's, she's a big one. She really is. I picked her up and I thought, I bet you this weighs over a pound. I want to say I, I had thought about weighing her before I started this and then I forgot, but... Um, yeah, I'm sure she is just luscious, luscious. I didn't do the beading. I did put a tree of life and I put a handmade with love. Pretty sure that's what this heart says. Handmade with love um, charms. I did not want a bunch of beads and things hanging off the bottom because this is big enough already. Look at that. Yeah. So the first page, when you open her up, uh, many of you, we did this together. So a lot of this is gonna be repetitious. A uh, little Tim Holtz chipboard piece there. There's a stamp there. I'm pretty sure that's Artie Mays. Butterfly from Artie Mays and a little label. This is, this might also be Artie Mays. And then it is a library pocket and this is the tag that I created. It's got a sticker on the back and we did some collage on the front. I had to be really careful because they're so full. I couldn't put trim on everything. I took a uh, digital, did some collage on this this side of it, added a uh, butterfly. This is an Artie Mays butterfly and some Nouveau Glaze. You're gonna find Nouveau Glaze throughout this whole journal and just created a little extra, either writing space or you can take pages out of here and use them as you want. You could take this little booklet and embellish it and um, really do her up. But I have her sitting in here with this large paper clip like that and there's a uh, German paper here we've got a graph paper there's a music paper and I added coffee uh, stained paper back here it may not be coffee it might be tea dyed and then there's a vintage page here and a um, this is a page that was a sticker page that I used. I just thought it was so cute. Put a little bit of collage. This is definitely Tina's. And then I had, I was gifted some um, pieces, so added those. So you've got nice writing space there. 
um, book page here, vintage book page. All the designs in this are from Shabby Debbie Doodah. Dictionary page here. Tag here. This was gifted to me, I believe, uh, from Brenda with a, um, a black uh, safety pin. So here is a tag, and that's so pretty. I want to say thank you, thank you, Tina, very, very much. This, oh, I was going to say she's stuck. So here is another, it's a beautiful mess. That is a Martha Stewart butterfly punch. Beverly sent me numbers, so I used that down there, did a little bit of collage on that. And this is sealed up with a heart paper clip. And this is where your charms are. This very first signature here. Then there is another book page from a dictionary and you can see the patina on the bottom, which is so beautiful. This is scraps of pages that can be used and then I used a, um, another heart paper clip. And so this does come out. Martha Stewart butterfly with an enamel dot. This page, this is the back of that page that comes out and I used a little bit of lace on that. Vintage book page, another vintage book page, little pocket here. This flips up and it all comes unfolded so that you could do a little secretive journaling in there if you wanted. And then we've got a collage page and a, a uh, brown paper sack page on the back of this tag. I left, this is Tim Holtz. And if you've got uh, crayons or colored pencils and you like to doodle, this is perfect for that lace at the bottom music paper graph paper the vintage paper here this opens up and here is a tag again a tim holtz there's a doily here and a um a uh, scrapbook cardstock page, a tiny little safety pin with a bead, and some sorry silk. This is the back, and I wrap the doily. So this just sits. Right, don't wanna pinch the wing, right like that. And um, that is your first signature. Your second signature then is, I think this is Tim Holtz. I'm not positive. Um, I, back, I backed it with um, some brown paper bag, a uh, border of cardstock, and then a sticker. Thought it went really, really well with this butterfly theme. Beautiful, beautiful digit digitals from a uh, Tina shop and I found this in my stash I thought it went it's just the perfect tag for in this book the color had this card so I made a tag out of it and um, you can see you can write on that side then we've got a tag here and I used the nouveau glaze and that's just so pretty and uh, put one of the butterflies on the back. I cut out some uh, flowers that I had and one is there. Then you've got this page here. I don't know where I got this card stock. It's or, uh, computer paper, it's heavier and it's just beautiful. Digitals from Tina's shop and then we have this paper here is that um, stationery from my mom that has that great crinkle sound. 
this is a uh, card backed with a um, book page, a uh, butterfly, and then a piece of the digital, and then on the other side, I did this with just some papers that I had. And once again, this is a heart paper clip, cute trim. And okay, this goes on the back of there. We have another matchbook style. This all unfolds for just a little bit more journaling space. It's got a butterfly on it. Vintage music sheet. And um, here what I did is I took, let's see if I can get that off. I took a photo plate. So what you could do is you could um, glue this down and use this, but instead what I did is I just tucked a couple sweet little tags in there and wrapped it so that you can use this any way that you want. And then you're gonna see the bag that is in here. What I did, I did a little collage there as well. This bag opens up from the top, I think. Yeah, opens up from the top and I left I left this and the other side empty because this is so full that um, if you wanted to put anything in there, you could, but I, I left it for you to have that option because if I started stuffing this with what is already in here, it would never close. Then we've got this cute page here, vintage book page. There is a, oh no, that's not a pocket. Then we've got, um, what do we have here, guys? Tell me what this is again. Oh, it just skipped my mind. You know what it is though. And uh, here's a tag. And once again, you can see the Nouveau Glaze. And there's a sticker here, a little bit of collage. And that is the back. And on this side, we've got another sticker page. Isn't that just beautiful? I love that. And this is the back of that. Yeah, this is just totally escapes me. What you, what you, oh my goodness. It'll come to me when I'm done here. Yeah, botany page. I thought this was so cool. Perfect, perfect for this journal. This is the other side of the bag, and as you can see, it is a, a cool pocket for anything you might want to keep in here. Butterfly that was gifted to me I thought was appropriate. Vintage uh, music sheet. Here is the other side of that stationery uh, set from my mom. And then I did a die cut with uh, the photo die cut. Put a tag in here and two little jar tags here with strings. So cute. This page, okay, I see. I'm gonna have to take this off. This page, I apologize, the landscapers are here and they're mowing. So if you can hear that background noise, I'm really sorry about that. Look at how beautiful this digital is of Tina's. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I created this matching tag to go with it. This is the back. So a little bit of collage work there. So this sits here. I think this is how I had it. And this goes like this. I'm thinking, is that how I had it, guys? Well, if it isn't, that's how I have it now. I think that's right. Um, computer page, another butterfly, and in here there is a tag with some collage, some vintage crochet work there. That is the back. These are so fun to make, but I gotta tell you, they take a lot, a lot of time. Lots of ephemera. There's just a lot going on for signatures, you can imagine. Sticker stamp there, isn't that so cute on this postcard? And then I went ahead and I added another one of the flowers and Nouveau Glaze. Isn't that just gorgeous? 
and then uh, French. I don't know, that says something about plants, but I couldn't tell you what. I have no idea what that says. Oh, I have that there. It's kind. This is kind of like a surprise when you take it out and you turn it over. You're like, whoa, how cool is that? A star paper clip. This opens up and there's an alteration tag, but look at how beautiful the digital is. So I thought that was really pretty and I put a piece of sorry silk on that. Color, I just wanted some color other than just yellow. And that is why you see these pops of uh, color like that. Let's see, what did I do? Okay, pull that up. That knot is catching. And there, there we go, I think that's better. And that is the second signature. And so then we move on down. This flips open, this is your flip-flop. Here is your third signature, isn't this gorgeous? Third signature here. So we've got a flower paper clip. I know something's coming, so might as well look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I cannot remember where I got these. Um, I've had them for quite a while but this comes from the Netherlands. It had the butterfly and I thought it was perfect, perfect for this book. So I've been hoarding. I've got a few more in, I think there's two of these in this book. Um, not the same pattern. And I just thought it's time to let things go. So it was special for this. A journal page, a book page, sweet tag, look at there, I used another number, Nouveau Glaze the top, botanical sticker at the bottom, and um, another tulip on the back. Lots of work went into this. I had a lot, a lot of fun. I'm excited to start another. In here, I came across this and it really has nothing to do with this journal but I just liked it I had I found this I've had this for a very long time the story of the picture and its memory notes and index of photographs and the color was right and um, I just thought okay I am going to use that and it's in this steno pad that was my mother's that crunchy a book page look at that so pretty vintage book page a journal page and in this journal page look at this beautiful trim look at that um, I get these trims of mine through um, Junkin sisters I've talked about this before and I've included, if I think about it, I'll include the link. Um, it, they're on Etsy. Their prices are really, really reasonable. And I want to say it's Junking Sister Journals, but I don't think that's right. I'm, I, I, hopefully I'll remember and put it out there. But you can see what the Nouveau Glaze does. This is just beautiful. And then a little bit of collage on the back. Perfect, perfect for here. This um, particular, because this is the inside um, signature, I learned that you cannot have it be as full as the others or it never shuts. So I'm learning as I go, but uh, lots and lots of fun. Um, vintage book page. Here is a pocket with some more. I did not Nouveau glaze this at all. So, but pretty trim. This was off a gift that my daughter-in-law gave me, I think for Mother's Day. Vintage book page. Digital and a book page. A, a little tag here. 
pink, totally like out of the ballpark, but color, there is that pop of color that I wanted. Here is a vintage book page with a pocket, and then I was looking through my stash and I found this cute bank envelope. I did not do anything with the bank envelope, but I stuck a sweet little tag in there. The color matches this. I mean, it's like it was meant to be. So, I thought that was the perfect, perfect place for this to go. Right in there. And here is the back page that opens up. We've got a bridge score sheet and then we've got a uh, flash card. Two minus one. And it is in the orange colors and I think that just matches this perfectly. So that is the third signature. So what we do is we fold this up like this fold this over and then behind the cover we have the last the fourth and the last signature beautiful B here I used um, some Nouveau glaze on these flowers and what I wanted to show you here was I made this so that if you wanted, this could be a pocket. So, um, you know, when this goes to a new home, I always include extras, and so they could be used in here. But like I said, I just really didn't want to fill it too full. This is one of the um, porcelain, not porcelain, but... Um, Oh my goodness, Charlotte. Oh my, there's so much going on that I can't. Parchment. Parchment pages. Uh, this is vintage, and this is the other um, tag that I had from the Netherlands. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, parchment paper. And on this side is a tiny little envelope. I put a sticker on the front and a. Oh, I can see. I'm going to have to take this off. Okay. Loss of memory and forgetfulness. Amnesia. I, um, this is the month. This is just, I don't want this to be depressing, but this is the month last year that wasn't so kind to me. And I just really, it's kind of in honor of all of those that may be going through things. I just wanted that card in here um it's in here with love so uh yeah pocket here and um i'm pretty sure this is tim holtz this tag here with the butterflies but that seemed very appropriate to have in here another one of these um i never did come up with the name of that did i this paper, oh my goodness, it'll come to me. Beautiful marbling on this paper here. Here is another, I think the last one I had. Tiny, tiny little pockets right here. Those are the only two, just tiny, tiny. Um, thought they were cute. And what do we have here? Oh, hot. We've got a flash card there. I think that's Tim Holtz. We have a digital here with some um, washi tape and some of the digital from the kit. So, love, love, love that print. Uh, I came across this. Nothing um, terribly special about this tag. This was one that was gifted to me. It had blossoms on it, it had sweet and the flowers. It's blue, doesn't really go with this, but um, I stuck the pink seam binding ribbon and said, you know what, I love the look of it, so here it goes. Time card, uh, green on one side, pink on the other. I did nothing with the time card, so um, it is there for you to do whatever you want. 
here's the back side of the parchment paper. This page opens up to give you more space to journal. And I think, is this the last? This is then the last page. And when you open this up, you've got an extra long tag. Isn't that gorgeous? That is the back. So that fits right in here. And on the other side, then, it holds. This really has nothing whatsoever to do with this journal. Tim Holtz wallpaper, it's got texture, a sticker, a little label there, and some of the lace that I just got in uh, from Angel Dream Crafts Kim. I just really liked this, and then there is this one as well with lace from Angel Dream Crafts Kim. Big old uh, bumblebee on there. This is a pocket, so technically I think this could fit right in there, and then we've got some sorry silk up here. And so this fits in here. This can go here, and then we've got a giant paper clip, and then that is back to the front. So there we go, guys. If you are seeing this, this should be in my shop. Um, lots and lots of fun. And hang on a second, and we will put this ribbon on, and then I'm going to show you. I am not done with the um, giveaway for this month. Almost, though. Almost. I am not going to stop to put as anywhere near as much into the giveaway as I did this one. The giveaway is only two signatures. Uh, first signature is done, and that is this right here, and we will be going through this. I know I know, I need to let you see what all is going to be in here. This is um, the first signature. The second signature here is a pocket, and um, I haven't done much to this. I think what I'm going to do is simply add a few tags and I'm gonna show you two of the tags that I did. They are not completed. This is uh, the side of uh, one of them, and I think this is still wet, so I have to be really careful. This is the back sides. Aren't they gorgeous? So they have to be finished, but they will be going in the giveaway book. So that is it, guys. Uh, please, a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well. I don't think I even asked you that. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. And thank you, thank you, Tina, so much for the digital kit. Absolutely love it. And I'll catch you all later. Hugs, everyone. Bye.